You've seen hundreds of people banging drums, waving flags and chanting. Now you may see hundreds of people walk right out of Florida. Wink News has been investigating the effects of Senate Bill 1718. The law would do things like require hospitals to find out a patient's immigration status, require employers with 25 or more workers to use the E-Verify system and upgrade the punishment for those who don't, and provide $12 million for moving migrants. This will go into effect Saturday, July 1st. And we found that it's already having real life impacts on the farming, service and hospitality industries. Hello, I'm Russ McCaskey. I'm Amanda Hall. People are afraid of this law. They are, are leaving to find refuge in other states. Wink News reporter Michael Hudak is in studio. Michael, what have you found? We don't know for sure if this law will change our industries in Southwest Florida permanently because we are out of season. But let me just say this. If it does make a difference, it will make a difference everywhere from as widespread as not having farmers to farm to not having enough workers at certain restaurants to construction workers leaving sites unfinished because they have to. It could affect everyone, including this man. Pine Island Road is home to traffic and sometimes frustration at a time when you need it the least. I've been in this business for like 15, 16 years. But when you look behind it all, literally behind the 7-Eleven. Talk to the people and like no one's going on. You'll find Jose Preciado doing what he loves the most. Pretty much making tacos all day. And he wants to continue. Heck, Jose has to continue his food truck business to feed his family. These people live in Florida. They don't want to stay in Florida because I guess the new law coming in. Because in his opinion, Senate Bill 1718 puts his family in jeopardy. Next thing you know, the price of the food is going to go up because there's nobody to pick it. Deterring illegal immigrants from coming to Florida, but also holding people accountable within Florida who are involved in illegal immigration. The governor calls the measure set to take effect July 1st the strongest anti-illegal immigration law in the state's history. The bill requires companies with 25 or more workers to verify whether everyone is able to work in the U.S. legally. That's workers in the fields, that's the service industry, and more. And the new law will also demand hospitals to disclose if they provide care to illegal immigrants. What we're going to do in six months from now? when actually like nobody wants to come to Florida. Jose believes, heck, he already sees the impacts that Senate Bill 1718 will have. Like all the workers, all the farmers, they affected all of them. I mean, like all the watermelon production, like you can see them on the side of the road, they destroy everything because there's nobody to pick it. Like orange, I mean, like orange season, it was bad. And right now the tomatoes coming up. And if there aren't people to pick the food, the price will soar in places like Publix and here at Preciado's food truck. It, it's, it's a big deal. A lot of people don't want to talk about it, but I mean, it, 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 is, it is a big deal. It's going to affect us, all of us. Tomorrow, we take a look at construction across Southwest Florida. Will this law slow down certain projects or repairs in the wake of Hurricane Ian? You'll also hear from two people working on drywall right down the street who admitted to us that they are not documented citizens. And what happened next is coming up Friday on Wink News. Back to you.